um, or better yet, write to me directly and um, whatever the issue is will be fixed um, soon. So um, this buff is um, quite unique um, in, uh, in NetBeans history. Um, beyond um, talking about the NetBeans platform as such, um, what it is and showing some um, various applications that, um, that use it, there's also a panel of um, various people who are um, using the NetWings platform and they will each um, share uh, in a few minutes um, how they're using the NetWings platform, um, what the benefits are to them, any problems they've had. And the purpose of all of this is just to give you a real feel of, of the, the length and breadth, breadth of the NetWings platform and, and what's going on um, with it. Um, there will also be time for a discussion, um, and um, um, the panel has been especially primed to, to raise controversial issues, um, so hopefully um, we'll get some discussion going. Um, so that basically is the structure of the buff, and that basically is um, who I am. So I'm interested in who you are, so I'll ask a couple of questions about basically your um, background in this particular context. So who here um, are typically Swing developers? Okay. Um, are there people here who have applications created on the NetBeans platform? Wow, oh, excellent. So when we get to the point where um, we have um, the panel talking about their applications, anyone else who's here is completely welcome to um, to also stand up and, and talk about their experiences or whatever, or set up front, or um, just to give um, everyone here uh, a feeling of the kind of things that people are doing. Um, are there people here who have um, no real experience with the NetWings platform and are kind of interested to know what it's about? Okay. So, um, yeah, the program. We'll start with a, a basic um, brief overview of what the NetWings platform is and, and what it does. Um, why you would use it, and then have a quick focus on the recent developments in the context of the NetWings platform, um, in the latest releases, what's happened, um, which gives an indication of the direction in which the NetWings platform is going. Um, we'll look at various applications, so there'll be um, this, uh, various people talking about their application and what they're doing and um, things around that, and then our discussion. So um, here in one slide is um, a lot, uh, basically, that summarized the basic points one could make um, on, on a high level about the NetWings platform. Um, in the first place, the NetWings platform is simply a desktop application framework. That's a very common concept, um, that of application frameworks in the world of the web, much less so in the world of the desktop. And um, the NetWings platform fits in that space. Although potentially you could also make um, web applications on top of the NetWings platform, as was um, shown by Tony in, um, in, a recent, in the recent um, session that was held this morning. So it's a framework that provides a lot of typical features that any desktop application needs, and um, um, that's what it does. Um, the main features um, listed here, and this is, this is a very um, crude summary, but just to um, raise the main points. As in the same way as in the web and world of the web, you have an application server that provides um, lifecycle handling and, and bootstrapping, starting up of, the, of an application. So the NetWings platform also provides a runtime container. So this handles the starting and the stopping and the, and the loading and the unloading of features in your application so that you don't have to do this yourself. So, so primarily, um, initially, in the first place, the NetWings platform is a runtime container for desktop applications. Um, a second very important point about the NetWings platform is its modularity. So the, the, the vision on the desktop here is that an application will be very large and needs to be scalable. It will have many different end user 